Good morning, y'all. Um, I thought I'd do a quick, there, I always say that. I thought that I would do a short tour of the garden. The roses out here are blooming, but the weeds are just about to take them over. The um, lavender looks okay. I cut it way back because I think that's what you're supposed to do. So I finally did it this year. Hopefully it's going to be good next year. And we moved this Japanese maple in the pot to here. So let's go in here and see what's happening. With so much rain, the gate keeps getting swollen and harder to open. Anyway, we don't care about that. The crepe myrtle back there, it, it oversees the garden. <laughs> and these are the dahlias that I got from Freilich Farms. It's got beautiful long stems there. And that's always important with the dahlia because then you can put it in a vase. And when you pick, and that, that one is blizzard. It's really pretty. The rest of them are put in buds. That's the pepper bed. And this is a new pepper that I'm growing that I had to look it up last night because it's just such a phenomenal. Look at that huge pepper. It's called um, a, AJ, there it is, <laughs> A-J-V-A-R-S-K-I, and I'm sure that's blurry. Anyway, there's lots of these peppers. They're doing really well. Okay, let's go a little bit faster. Lasagnas and sunflowers back there, and this one, green tails. That's just so fun. I'll probably grow that again. It's just it just keeps getting longer and longer. The okra's coming along. The tomatoes are done. Hopefully, I'm gonna pull the tomatoes, finish pulling them up today, and plant peas right there. I think I've still got enough time before it gets too cold. Can you imagine even being cold? I can't. There's two dahlias right there that came from Eden Brothers, and they're doing okay. My eucalyptus. And let's walk down this way. The beans, these are a filet bean and they're still making beans. I picked a pretty good mess of them this week. Okay, there's the Cleomy. That was mama's. Right there is um, pineapple sage. It's a, a yellow one. And then there's the green pineapple sage. That should have beautiful red blooms before way too long. There's an empty bed. I could plant something there. But the weeds are just starting to take over everything. Let's break out and get the tension back there. And I don't know. I can't remember that one. But they're looking good. It's hard to um, leave them out here because I like to pick every single day to keep them in the house. I have so many vases of dahlias. This one is... Cafe LA Royale that's beautiful. And this one right here, I've got to look up the name because I've lost the tag. I can't even remember where I got it. But it seems to be performing really well this year. So I guess I need to name it so that I can know. This one is Brian's favorite. It's uh, Myrtle's Brandy. And when I first started growing it two or three years ago, it was really red and white. Now it's not this one i do not know what's going on with it it's cafe ole it's very tall very tall did the same thing last year and no flowers it looks pretty healthy and the ones next to it are blooming so it's not too much nitrogen i don't know what's wrong and i'm just wondering if there's a such thing as a dud um, a tuber that will not produce flowers I'm beginning to think that's what it is. This one I love. That's Spartacus. It's so pretty. This one is mislabeled. So I don't know what it is. But I think this one is Silver Years. It's beautiful. And that one in the back, it's a white one. Uh, it's got a, like a Japanese name. And I don't remember it. But it, it's great. This one, 
sorry let me, let me make y'all drunk this one's Otto's Thrill and it doesn't have a a good bloom on it yet it probably will because there's lots of buds alrighty that's the dahlias and this is just proof that this is um, Cafe LA isn't it pretty it's just not the pale color that I hope to get one day those are the short ones I don't know why it's not focusing very well this morning and just what I was saying this is proof that you can grow dahlias in the south in this heat it takes a little more attention but it's possible it can be done and we have dahlias from June just a, a small amount smattering of them until frost there's still some that haven't bloomed yet and they will it just takes paying attention and keeping them picked and there's that I do not understand that right there it has this year to bloom and if it doesn't it's out of there so I wish I had I wish I could remember where I bought it I think I know but um, it's had no no blooms ever last year it was full of teeny tiny buds before the frost came and then it died back okay here's the yard Brian mows on Thursday it makes it look like a park there's mountain mint beautiful that's a great oh one more thing let's go right here there's Miss Huff that was a sprig. I believe I planted it last year. This is a small sprig. And look at it now. So if you want a really good heat living, pretty dependable plant, that there you go. Miss Huff, Lantana. Here is tube rose. The smell is just wonderful. And, of course, there's a story. There's some more. There's a row of them right here. There's a story that when Betsy was born many, many years ago, my mama had bought tube roses. I think she had bought like 75 tube roses. I really wish I could talk to her about some of this stuff like that. But she had bought them and planted them. She lived in my grandmother's house and and they were planted there and when Betsy was born she brought me a bouquet of um, a, a big huge flower arrangement with lots and lots of tube roses in it and at night when I was learning how to be a new mama I would go in the family room the air con we only had like room air conditions because it was an old house I would sit in that room with Betsy during the night when she was awake and smell the tube roses. So <laughs> the tube roses have such a wonderful memory to me of me and my new baby girl and the smell of tube roses in the middle of the night when all the rest of the world was asleep except me and Betsy. It was fun. Well, it wasn't fun at the time, but it's a great memory. So that's what tube roses remind me of a lot. Here's one more look. And right there was going to be the pea patch, but I run out of energy, <laughs> as I often do this time of year. And so that's coming down this weekend when Brian helps me get that little fence down. And there's Miss Busy. She is, Teeny is the busiest dog. And there's Lily. You see how bu unbusy she is. Lily, Lily. And completely focused on something back there making noise Lily I hope y'all have a good weekend and I hope you enjoyed the walk around from winter past this is Mona